G'day guys, Andy Utting here. Just want to talk about QBA uh, session number six, uh, which starts Monday on the Gold Coast and midweek everywhere else. Um, the uh, warm-up routines were back to routine A, so back to the top for that. So been through that before, so it should be pretty straightforward. Um, the base running, we're going through situational stuff, um, running through the base runners' roles and responsibilities for hit and run steals, that sort of stuff, also pretty straightforward. Um, there's also good resources in um, the level four accreditation manual and that sort of stuff, so it shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, for the throwing program, uh, the juniors are doing a count program and the seniors are continuing their um, Jaeger throwing program. They're consolidating their base. That means they're um, stretching out and pulling down, but trying to extend the amount of time that they're throwing a bit longer. One of the things I noticed on the weekend with the scholarship group is a lot of them are stretching out to their maximum distance and um, as soon as they basically get out there, they start coming back in and you know pulling down and throwing flat uh, uh, one throw every 10 feet as they come in. So not spending a lot of time out there at their maximum distance. And that's okay if that's where they're at, but just remind them they've got 16 minutes of throwing time to, to get their stuff in so they don't have to necessarily just get back there and, and then just come straight in. If their arms feel okay, they can stay out there a little bit longer. Um, over time we're trying to consolidate our base. Certainly don't rush them to doing that. Um, if they don't feel that great as they get out, then they certainly come back in and they can keep throwing at a shorter distance, so that's okay too. Don't forget your um, 20 throws and your, um, your flat ground work at the end of the throwing program. Uh, as soon as we're done with the throwing program, we're gonna go straight into infield outfield routine. So. Um, basically, everyone is uh, going to be involved in that with potentially uh, the only exception being guys that are throwing bullpens at this stage. So um, we've got a pretty standard bullpen, uh, sorry, uh, uh, infield outfield routine. I'll include a copy of that um, with this email, but uh, it's pretty standard. Um, I'm sure there's people at each of the venues that know that routine and can take uh, the group through that, so that's not a problem. But we want to challenge the guys to control the baseball as much as possible. So we're gonna make sure that we limit the balls that we take to 10 baseballs. And anytime there's an error or a wild throw, that ball does not come back into circulation. It needs to be just left. Um, and we're gonna try and get through the whole routine uh, with only 10 baseballs. So um, that's a bit of a challenge for the guys. And then over the weeks, we gradually reduce the number of baseballs that we use to try and uh, challenge them a bit in that regard. Um, if and when they do run out of baseballs, stop the infield, bring everybody in, um, have a chat about the things that they'll do and run, try and address some of those things and make sure that they, they improve in those areas. Um, now, if we have enough time, then certainly I'm happy for you to have them start again and repeat it, but I'm thinking for the first few weeks, um, we might wanna just, um, rather than going back to the top, just continue from where we left off until we get our head around the routine a little bit more. And once we practice a bit, we'll get through it a bit quicker. And then uh, we can uh, maybe be a bit harder on that, that penalty if they don't get through it. Um, but like I said, once, they, once you've had a discussion about what they've done wrong and that sort of stuff, have them go back, finish the routine from where they were, um, and then we'll continue on with the training session to make sure we keep with the schedule. Um, uh, then we go straight to individual defense after that. Um, only one rotation and we're progressing those skills um, from the previous week, so make sure you check the, the references again. There's plenty of good references in the Level 4 Accreditation Manual on the things we're covering on this given week. Um, I mentioned bullpens. We are going to introduce uh, throwing bullpens this week, so anyone who would like to throw a bullpen is welcome to. I'd like them to go through that 24-pitch bullpen assessment when they throw their bullpens, um, and if available, um, if the pitching coaches could take some, a brief snippet of footage of those guys just so that we've got it on uh, on record somewhere. I'll talk to you guys individually about what I want you to do with that, uh, but that would be good if we could at least get that. Um, so if you've got an iPhone or an iPad, uh, if you haven't got a, an app that's good for recording and slow mowing video footage and stuff like that, I can um, help organize uh, one which uh, is good for that sort of stuff. Um, but depending on how many guys you've got in uh, that want to throw bullpens, you may need to actually start them fairly early. So you might need to maybe pinch a catcher out of the infield outfield routine and start them at that stage if you've got a lot. Um, if not, you can probably wait till either the individual defense or the bull, um, or the, the, the hitting circuit start. But I expect that with the big numbers in most of our groups and the fact that we haven't thrown bullpens yet, there'll be a lot of guys that want to throw 
So I would probably suggest you get started early on those. Try and um, do your best to keep those to eight to 10 minutes per bullpen. So don't um, waste too much time once you get in there. Also, don't forget, keep the catchers rotating through. Don't have them stuck there in the bullpen the whole day. Um, uh, if we get a chance to, I'd like to include some of those throwing drills actually in the bullpen, the ones that we talked about last week with the tap and goes and the step backs and the walkthroughs and all these sorts of things. There's that video file that I've got on our YouTube page, which is um, goes through all of those. I like to use that as part of the, the warm-up for that uh, and actually do them off the mound, but we'll talk about that more over the next couple of weeks. Um, after we get done uh, with infield, outfield, individual defense, the bullpens, all that sort of stuff, we go to our hitting circuit. So you might still be doing bullpens at this stage. but um, So rather than just all hitting off the tees now, we're going to have a hitting circuit where we're progressing to hitting a moving baseball. So there'll be, um, depending on your resources, depending on what you've got available to you, you could have some guys hitting some tee drill, some guys doing some flip drill, some guys potentially on the field doing front side flip from a coach from behind a screen or something like that. And also using uh, anyone who's got a batting cage can have guys rotating through to get the batting cages. Um, so they want to go from one drill to the next in stages and work their way through. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Um, the only other thing that you need to be concerned with here is just making sure this can blow out quite easily because there's several rotations. If you don't work hard to stick to the schedule, it can blow out pretty quickly. So we need to make sure that we stick to the schedule and also consider that the conditioning at the end um, we've done the conditioning before, so it should be stra pretty straightforward, but um, you've got to work out, depending on the size of your group, it may take a long time to get through that hitting stuff, so you might want to actually consider um, mixing in the conditioning to a, one of the rotations of your hitting stations, um, just for the sake of um, giving you a little bit more time to get through all of the guys you've got to get into each of the respective hitting stages. So basically that's it for session six. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. There'll be a couple of resources attached with this document. Check them out. Give me a buzz if you've got any issues. Thanks very much.